Sen bir tane okun tutduk işte. Ne olur bana de facto ne Türkiye'nin zaçınar, Japonya mirgiciliğin, Berlin inşinyer, neyin Natasha Sako artışmana. Naotoshi Sako, Eril Grupin, Zamberlag Dono Dhurum Jim Ulchilia Herotsung, Zakril. Naotoshi Sako, Yapol Singh, Ristume Kanik Srolik, Berlin Engineer, American Exol Singh, Pierre Dugin Srolik, Berlin Engineer Merichler, Magistrin Zirikte, Tostos Tosche. Tirere, Yokohama Ging, a business park in Tussel, Chow Hortney Zamin Tussel, Kobe Ging, Azur Hutlus Tursung, Azrig, a Syrian Zasurla. Tokyo Ging, Automos in his Hoxney Bodling at Zam Zasurin, Mini Jirik, Alpon Tusharlik, Hashijas Nidrite, Singapore, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodge, the Gornod, Mirichleria, as the Jessen. Tirere, the Slinia, Ulgajani, Shintikan Logic, Zandaoni, Choloni, Ilor had Amjil Tetrushe, Mung Aspart, Mixed Turnomo, Hibusen. Good evening. Yeah. Thank you Thank for you. coming to our program. It's my pleasure to be here. You have been connected with Mongolia for the last 20 years. Yes. You are the, that engineer who made the road from uh, Aftanalek through Irtinsum, yes, right? right. Yeah. The road which well, we enjoy, mm -hmm. very high quality road. Mm -hmm. And you are also engineer about construction materials. Mm -hmm. So let us talk about how come that you were connected with Mongolia. Ah, actually, that is a long story. Uh -huh. uh, I came to Mongolia for the first time in 1995, uh -huh. actually about more than 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And uh, I was the uh, uh, road specialist, uh -huh. road pavement specialist at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a project uh, granted by the Japanese government mm -hmm. from, as you say, the Naraiha to Erdene Song. Mm -hmm. Then, at that time, I was dispatched from the uh, company I worked for before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I came to the here. Mm -hmm. Let's say it was the hard time at that time. Exactly. Then I. Mongolia said, was not like this, eh? Yeah, not <laughs> like this. There is no like a high, high okay. in a building. Okay. Uh, I can see the uh, mountains of the uh, Genghis Khan from yes. the middle of the uh, center. Central, central city. <laughs> uh, not anymore. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then uh, at that project, I was designed the asphalt mixture. Mm -hmm to suit to the Mongolian weather. Mm -hmm. Then uh, actually at that time, I was not sure about that this mixture is good for the uh, Mongolian weather. Mm -hmm. But I tried to uh, figure out mm -hmm. to use my pavement knowledge and mm -hmm. using the, some of the uh, famous Japanese engineering, uh, pavement engineering book. Mm -hmm. Then I tried to follow the uh, fat the textbook said. Mm -hmm. Then so, yeah, you, yeah. in fact, made a book. This is a Japanese version. This is a Mongolian version about yes, yeah. asphalt mm -hmm. beton, mm -hmm. and that's the basic book about how you can make a beton from asphalt. Yes. Yes. All absolutely. right. So, uh, and you were you said that twenty years ago you were using the local materials. Mm -hmm suitable or adaptable to yes. the local conditions. Yes. So how was it? Yeah, actually, the, uh, when I see the materials, and the, uh, especially for the rocks, yeah, and the crushed rocks, mm -hmm. crushed rocks uh, tends to have the, uh, like the, uh, not the cubic shapes. Yes. It has the thinner Any shape. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. So the, that's not the good for the uh, uh, durability uh -huh. of the asphalt, asphalt uh -huh. concrete. Uh -huh. Then we have our project manager decided to transport the good shape of the material uh -huh. from uh, Darham okay. actually to, to, to the uh, Naraiha. So you said the crashed rocks mm. doesn't work? Uh, not doesn't work, but it's not uh, very suitable. Okay, uh, so the, the one from Darham mm -hmm. was what kind of material? Uh, that is the crashed rock. Uh -huh. uh, if you go the uh, site, uh -huh. Our project, uh, the surface, a little bit ready. I uh -huh. mean, the uh, reddish, red, red, red reddish, color. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, uh, that material comes from the Darhan cities. Okay. Then that aggregate is uh, durable. Yes. Uh, at that time. Uh -huh. uh, 
Then we decided to introduce that material. Uh -huh. and, uh, and you have combined it. Because this road mm -hmm. to Irtin Song mm -hmm. is in some places a red color. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the material. Yeah, yes, yeah. The rocks brought from Barkhan. Yeah, yeah. What other materials were used? Yeah. Actually, the uh, sand. Actually, uh -huh. uh, let's say, pavement, uh, asphalt beton contains uh -huh. crushed rock uh -huh. and the sand uh -huh. and the bitumen. Uh -huh. And uh, that is come from the Ru Russia. Uh -huh. uh. Bitumen came from Russia. Yes. Uh, sand. Yes. From where? Uh, sand. Uh, zoom, zoom model. Uh, near the. Uh, uh, near yeah. The, uh, uh, the road. We have the there is a zoom mode place. Of, uh, I see. Sand around so you there. took the sand there, mm -hmm. crushed rocks from Darkhan mm -hmm. in the Russian uh, bitumen. Mm -hmm. So these are the only three components. Yeah, yes, yes. Now you see that road. Mm -hmm. When it was finished? Uh, in 1997. 97. Now 97. it's 20 years. Yes, 20 years. No right. crash. Yeah. The road is staying mm -hmm. there. What mm -hmm. is the secret? Uh, that the secret, we used that, uh, as I said, the materials of the uh, sand, the rock, and the bitumen is the uh, normal uh, components of the asphalt, bit, uh, asphalt concrete. But we used the uh, uh, natural resources that we can get it in the uh, Mon Mongolia, that is the uh, cold asphalt. We call rock asphalt. Okay, cold asphalt is yeah. called uh, rock, rock what asphalt. What is this? Rock asphalt. Rock yes. asphalt is the materials. Uh -huh. Bitumen is uh, bitumen contains uh, uh, how can I say sand or dust uh -huh. contains the bitumen. Uh -huh. the, then it becomes a big uh, layer of the rock. Uh -huh. Then we excavate that, that material. Uh -huh. Then we put into the uh, uh, normal type of the bitumen. Okay, uh, so you add another kind and, of uh, yes. material to the bitumen. Yes, yes. It means, let's say, we used uh, Mongolian natural resources, uh -huh. not only the Russian. Uh -huh. Bitumen. Uh -huh. Of course, uh, there is uh, lots of secret. Uh -huh. uh, how much we should put it in? Uh -huh. How to mix it? Uh, as a result, mm -hmm. you see many other roads. Mm -hmm. Within another four or five yeah, years, yes, it's yes. crashed. Mm -hmm. now, nowadays, in particular mm -hmm. with the flood, mm -hmm. we have big problem. Yes. Uh, and those roads are working mm -hmm. well. Uh, mm -hmm. You observe the other roads in Mongolia. What yes. is the substantial differences between you okay. made the road, okay. the other roads? Okay. What did Mongolia are doing wrong? Okay. The, what is the most important thing is, is probably most of the people is focusing on their surface, I mean the black, black surface. Uh -huh. But the road consists of their, some of the components, uh -huh. such as sub-base uh -huh. and the base course and as part uh -huh. uh, concrete. Uh -huh. So, the, when the big traffic uh, run on the uh, pavement, uh -huh. the, load, the load will distribute to the uh, south base, let's uh -huh. say, uh, existing condition uh, the soil. Uh -huh. So it means if the existing soil is very, very, how can I say, weak uh -huh. to support the load uh -huh. uh, fr from the top, uh -huh. Then, so distribution of the uh, that load yes. to the south base yes. is very very important. Yes. So the uh, to have the good condition of the road, we should think about not only the surface, surface. of the asphalt, uh -huh. but also the Next aggregate layer. aggregate base course. Uh, what is how long how deep is to be that aggregate? That that, that is the only uh, twenty centimeter. Uh -huh. In Mongolia. Then, I mean, the, uh, that I, uh, that I made, uh, made. Uh -huh. <laughs> not myself. Oh, good. With, uh, oh, by the way, you mm. were the uh, supervising and yeah. uh, engineer, yes. engineer of yeah. that. Yeah, but the actually laborers, Mongolians. Yeah, actually, we used the uh, uh, that uh, Ministry of the uh, Road People. Uh -huh. oh, owner is the also at that time the subcontractor at that time. Uh -huh. oh, I see. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the uh, construction of the base course, I mean uh -huh. the crash rock, uh, crash rock 
aggregate. Uh -huh. Base is also important. Uh -huh. So the compaction of the base course uh -huh. just below the uh, asphalt uh -huh. pavement itself, I mean the asphalt uh, concrete itself, okay. is very, very important. If, even though we introduce the uh, very good quality of the asphalt concrete, uh -huh. if the base course and the crash rock asphalt base course is not suitable, so then... Understand. Uh -huh. but yeah, you said 20 centimeters, right? Yeah, and what just is only the top, 20. The surface? Only 6 centimeters. So 20 and 6, six centimeters. Yes. This is the... Do you see it is the average required depth of the road in mm. Mongolia, in particular your conditions? Yeah. Or in other places? How you... I mean, you have been traveling ah, yeah, a lot. Yes, how yeah. do you find? Yeah, actually, the first, we should uh, define the uh, existing uh, soil, soil. Condi soil condition. Uh -huh. Then, if the soil condition is not suitable for only that 20 centimeter and the 6 centimeters uh -huh. uh, pavement, then we should stabilize it with cement or the, some limestones or something like that. Mm -hmm. But here in the central city, mm -hmm. they paved the uh, at least two, two layers of asphalt concrete, not like the six centimeter only. Uh -huh. They have probably more than the near fifteen centimeter here. But here, yeah. uh -huh. but even though we have some problems, uh -huh. maybe because of the uh, condition of the uh, base course, crushed uh -huh. rock base course, or maybe because of the drainage. How of about the, the soil? Problem. Yeah, maybe soil is also the important point. But the fundamentals are under the surface. Yes. How many centimeters in Ulaanbaatar city? Yeah, uh, actually, yeah. Well, I, I'm not sure about the uh, uh, location by location, uh -huh. but at least 20 centimeter or the uh, uh, 30 centimeter of the stabilized uh -huh. surface will be required. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. No, I'm just trying to mm. f figure out why, when Japanese make roads, that's there for 20 years. And why, meanwhile, other roads, mm -hmm. like the road to Harhoring mm -hmm. or road to Darhan mm -hmm. today, disastrous. Mm -hmm. I mean, it costs a lot of lives ah, now. Yes, yeah. So what do you think Okay. So the, uh, to prevent this sort of yeah, situation? Yeah. Actually, we should define the uh, design. Of course, the design is, uh, maybe the design is okay based on the, some uh, theories, but to introduce or let's say to follow that design or construction method in the mm -hmm. real world. Mm -hmm. So there are actually uh, some books written in the how to uh, design the uh, road and the how to construct, but in the real engineer should know how to follow the book, but Sometimes uh, common labor do not understand what is important, what is not important. So to train that kind of uh, common labor up mm -hmm. to the la common labor, mm -hmm. what is important to have the durable road? That is when, also important. When you were, your team was doing mm -hmm. that road, yeah, yeah. What, kind, what kind of interesting circumstances you have uh -huh. encountered? Yeah. to enforce uh -huh. that standard yeah, you want to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Let, let's say, actually when I see, maybe the many people doing the same thing. If we have the, some small water pools yes. after rain, yes. then people want to uh, fill the, some good materials. Mm -hmm. But is, that is the pr totally wrong idea. First, we should drain the water, then if the surface is okay to fill the new materials, then we can uh, repair or fix the, that kind of the uh, rotting or the so small pools. Initially, Mongolians were doing that? Yeah, 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 actually. So, so where well, we have the, uh, some water pools, then put, put the uh, materials, in, uh, materials or expensive, expensive materials, then put it here. So how yeah, you that, that is the uh, kind of the... Uh, uh, throw the money out. How did you stop that? Okay, first we should establish some of the maintain good maintenance team 
which uh, let's say has the uh, good engineer of the maintenance. So these days, uh, after the many pavement uh, starts, then they know why it's damaged so short time, two years or three times, or well, maybe after just one rain, then mm -hmm. th this appeared. I see. Uh, uh, you have two awards. Yes. One is the Shildig uh, Berlichchen, the other is the Shildig Zam Tevering Ajilton, or the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the best engineer in construction and mm -hmm. the best engineer in road construction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this, share with us, what is this about? Uh, okay, then, uh, as I said there, uh, uh, after the uh, previous project finished in 1997, I've mm -hmm. never come back to the Mongolia. Uh -huh. But about, let's say, about seven years ago, uh -huh. I, I have a chance to come back to the Mongolia again uh -huh. in a different uh, project. Uh -huh. that, that is the, uh, let's say, low-cost payment pro project. Uh -huh. I was supervised at the uh, 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 rural areas, uh -huh. such as the Choil. Choil. Uh, Choil. Yes. Uh -huh. near, near the, uh, so uh, after completion of this project, they yeah. have awarded with which one? Uh, th this one. This one, okay. Uh, How so about the second one? Uh, second one, uh, th this is a little bit funny story. Okay. Yeah, so, this metal is related to road construction. Road construction, right? okay. But, but th this is not a road construction. Gen general uh, construction, general. construction, yes. Then, I discuss with the uh, officer at the uh, uh, Ministry of the Transportation. Mm. Then, uh, let's say, I, I, I have a space here. <laughs> <laughs> and they made it okay. <laughs> then I submit no, a lot actually, of papers. Actually, you deserve that because you are the author of the low cost payment mm -hmm. uh, of the road. Mm -hmm. Please tell us how did you achieve that low cost pavement? Uh -huh. Okay, that, that is the uh, okay. In the rural area, uh -huh. we don't have the uh, big scale of the asphalt mixing plant. Uh -huh. We have that kind of the asphalt mixing plant here in the Uran Battles, uh -huh. but the rural areas, uh -huh. such as Choyo, uh -huh. uh, we don't have that uh, big scale of the asphalt plant. Mm -hmm. So we introduced the low cost payment, uh -huh. which does not require the big size of the uh, asphalt mixing plant. Okay. So the uh, technologies we use the big size of the uh, aggregate, uh -huh. then uh, smaller size aggregate, uh -huh. and the very fine materials. Uh -huh. Then we use uh, like a uh, sandwich. Uh -huh. We first we distribute the uh, large see, see. size of the aggregate. Uh -huh. Then we spray the hot bitumen. I see. Then on top of that, we uh -huh. uh, spread the middle side of the aggregate, then uh -huh. compact it. Uh -huh. Then we spread the fine, uh, fine uh, size aggregate. Uh, hot bitumen again, uh -huh. then we spread the very fine materials, then okay. compact it. Okay, so it's uh, three layers of yeah, the different. Uh, yes. Using local rocks. Local rocks. Local yes. crashing and yeah. then putting. Mm -hmm. So when you crash, mm -hmm. You need just crush her there, right? Yeah, yeah. And a bigger one yeah, yeah. on the ground, mm -hmm. smaller, mm -hmm. and in between yes, them, uh, uh, vitamins. Was it cost effective? Actually, transportation is a key. Okay. Where is the original source of the rock? Uh -huh. Rock itself uh, doesn't cost too much, actually. Okay. But where we can find it? Uh -huh. Then, trans of course, uh, we need a transportation. So transportation cost is also the uh -huh. main factor of the uh, cost. Uh -huh. And uh, that road to mm. Choi, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm. Fantastic road, mm. also another good road. Mm. And you have been using this uh, local, low cost pavement mm -hmm. materials. Mm -hmm. uh, the question is, on the road you made, mm -hmm. There are always proper water drainage system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even if there is a water comes, then on two sides there is a huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made a hole, yes. a line, right? Yeah, yeah. What's the name of this one? Uh, 
we call it Dr a drainage, or sometimes its shape looks like a U, yes. the U shaped gutter. Gutter? Uh, gutter. Ah, uh, G G U T T R. Uh -huh. uh, U size. Mm. U, U size U gutter. Shape, mm, U shape. Okay. U uh, shape gutter. Shape uh, 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 So, at times, mm. in many places, in particular on the road to mm -hmm. the south, mm -hmm. we don't have much that mm -hmm. gutter. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the char side, mm. we have more frequently. So, mm. what makes uh, that engineer to make decisions mm -hmm. to make a? It's here. Mm -hmm. We should have this. Mm -hmm. What is your decision-making process on okay, that? Okay, let's say before we construct a road, uh -huh. uh, whether uh, where uh, th there is no ro road shape, uh -huh. then we should find out where is the uh, good point to drain. And the what is the lowest point? Mm -hmm. or some area is uh, lower than the other areas. Okay. So in that case, all the water will come to the lower point uh -huh. or lowest point. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, after, after rain, uh -huh. let's say one hour, sometimes 30 uh -huh. minutes or sometimes two days later. Mm -hmm. Then we should find out where is the uh, like the bottleneck of the drainage point. Uh -huh. Then we should introduce the like uh, drainage uh -huh. to drain the water as quick as possible. Uh -huh. Not only the surface, uh -huh. but also the uh, under the surface. Uh -huh. So the, if you mix up the uh, lots of water, even though you construct the uh, nice base goals uh -huh. or sub base, it, it will damaged by the water. I then see. Uh, after after the softening the material, uh -huh. then uh, road. Uh -huh. If the ro load applied uh -huh. at the uh, weak point, then it's damaged very, very quickly. So you said that uh, you look at the landscape, mm -hmm. you find out the lowest spot, mm -hmm. and where the all water very quickly mm -hmm. comes, and how you to get out if it is the lowest point. Mm -hmm. How to get out? Yeah, actually, yeah. so in cities, to have the good system for the total, uh, how can I say, uh, design, design uh -huh. of the civil is important. Uh -huh. But l let's say in the uh, rural areas, we should drain the water somehow uh -huh. to the uh, more lo lower point. Lower point, oh. okay. Oh. Of, of course, we, if we cannot find uh, any lower point, you make a we should design the road. Uh -huh. It's not the lowest point. Um, okay, another point I have noticed with the road to Irdinsum, wherever you cut the pass, mm -hmm. you go there and you have covered that ah, yes, decline yes. with the kind of this type yes, of yes, rocks. Yes. Why is that important? Yeah, that, that is the, uh, let's say, that area, uh, it exists the uh, frozen soil. See. Long, long uh, the, during the old time, uh -huh. so the uh, frozen soil. Uh, uh -huh. Mongolian people touch that areas, then frozen soil uh -huh. will, uh, how can I say, so uh, freeze and soil uh -huh. happen. Uh -huh. Then existing soil damaged very very quickly. Uh, I so see. in order to drain that water to the, the uh, side. Uh, besides the road is important. Uh -huh. Then uh, let, let the road construction uh, structure uh, dry as much possible. As fast is as important. possible. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, the standard in Mongolia, when you have a, a road, mm -hmm. say two lines, mm -hmm. and you have a shoulder, mm -hmm. and the, that shoulder mm -hmm. How Mongol? How do you see our roads? Ah, okay. That, that Not only your roads. Oh, yeah, your yeah, roads, yeah, you yeah, made yeah. the road fantastic. I know to Chur, to Irtenzon. But how about yeah. this in another places? Why we're not doing that enough? Okay, let's say uh, usual uh, standard of the road is like uh, one lane is a three point five meter. That that is the very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Then we have the shoulders. Let's mm -hmm. say seventy to eighty centimeter. Okay, one line is how big, how wide? 3.5. Okay, 3.5 meter. meter. Okay. Oh, will be the normal. 70, 80 then, centimeters. Then 70 to 8. Yes. Uh, sometimes the one meter okay. will be required. Okay. But the shoulder itself 
is not supposed to run Maybe by, stop by, by, the, uh, uh, by the traffic. Okay. But shoulder is a shoulder, uh, like a sh yes. shoulder, that, uh, how can I say, hold the uh, important point, I mean the center point. I see. So the, uh, because of the too much traffic I here see. in the central, uh -huh. if the shoulder is White. Uh, space, then many people want to yes. run. So it right? makes such a hole. Yes, yes. It's Th that, that the shoulder is a weak point. Oh, Let's say, even though we compact in the center, so we should but not shoulder, drive on shoulder. The shoulder should not <laughs> run. Okay, uh, uh, now <laughs> please tell us what are you doing now in Mongolia? Uh, now, uh, I'm the, uh, uh, let's say, general engineer and, uh, <coughs> mm, uh, how can I say, uh, I instruct and uh, advise the uh, factory. Uh -huh. that, is, that factory is the, uh, operated by the RL group, uh -huh. and uh, that is the factory for the precast concrete panel for housing factory. Uh -huh. Precast concrete panel. Yes. For, for housing. For housing. I saw it, and this is like a very high quality material. Even you don't need another any materials outside or inside. Mm -hmm. They make bring, and they, they immediately make a house. Mm -hmm. How things go? Uh, now, to, uh, this year is the first we we started the real operations. Mm -hmm. So the. Uh, uh, to tell the truth, we faced uh, some of the problems, mm -hmm. but uh, we are struggling to find out how we can develop mm -hmm. and how quickly we can uh, prepare the panels. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, let's say, I'm sure we are going to prepare the very nice quality and sometimes uh, look nice. Uh -huh. uh, then we can bring to, to the site, then mm -hmm. we put like the, uh, let's say, uh, le le Lego block. <laughs> uh, then we prepare the uh, uh, walls and the uh, slabs. All the materials just, needed yes. for housing. Mm -hmm. I saw the materials not only for high-rise buildings mm -hmm. to bring it back. It's like Lego. Yes, yes. Just yes, immediately yeah. do it. Yeah. But also I saw very importantly, very small house. Mm -hmm for replacing the gear today. Yeah, yes, yes. It was very low cost, about yes, 1.5 million yes, two Greeks right. per square mm -hmm. meter, mm -hmm. and it's unique. Yes. Why they would not be made in all gear districts? Uh, what is the bottleneck here? Uh, actually, uh, technically, uh. Uh, let's say, to transport to, uh, to the uh, gear district, mm of the uh, such heavy materials mm -hmm. is uh, sometimes a bottleneck. Uh -huh. uh, because the road? Because of the road. Uh -huh. So in order to renovate uh -huh. the uh, Gary district, we should be better to construct a good access road. First road. To, uh, to <laughs> introduce that kind of the, uh, okay, our materials uh -huh. or the component of the housing. Uh -huh. is important uh -huh. and uh, we need uh, some of the stock areas uh -huh. over there then uh -huh. transport is easier as you see uh -huh. uh, it's rather difficult to bring the, that big one to the, the real gary district at this yes, moment that's the oh, road i haven't thought about that right. i thought only the price or things yeah and probably it's the fastest program to ha to make every mongolian Household in Ulaanbaatar mm -hmm. district mm -hmm. with normal conditions, mm -hmm. housing, right? Yes. And not, it's a matter of first the road, then you probably water, mm -hmm. infrastructure yes, issue, yeah. then you can immediately yeah, put. Yes. That's a very marvelous mm -hmm. job, and mm -hmm. I wish you have a, a lot of houses made in yeah. Ulaanbaatar city. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, well, the time is over, and I would like to mm -hmm. thank you for your wonderful job and being with Mongolians and making all these changes you are making, not only yourself, but also keep writing books. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sakosa. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sa huntuzikchite onodur manay de facto niptuudin zachnor, taabit ni saimitik tuwaimgin irdin sumuru taibsin teri saikhan zambaydin.
чойр руу 50 төр сайхан сам зам байдаг. За энийг хариуц шийлгсэн Монголын орн нутгад орн нут замын материалыг яаж бий болох тухай шийдвэрийг гаргасан ийм хүндтэй Японы замын инженер ноён Сако оролцлоо. Их баярлаа.